Hey guys, today I'm going to make some, make some lighting modules for on my Prusa printer. I'll show it in, uh, in a minute. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I believe it's actually a couple of months ago already, time flies, uh, I got a new lens for my camera and I'll show it. Um, I've got it here. It's a macro lens and well, uh, I noticed that it, I need a lot more lighting in the environment for this lens because the aperture is actually really tight, really small. Um, so because of that, the lighting that I have, uh, there is a lot of light here, but it's still not enough. So some extra light on the printer itself. Um, before I forget, um, important, uh, at the end of the video, I will tell a bit more about um, how you can make these yourself because I'm going to publish all the models and also uh, a short instruction. So let's, uh, let's get, uh, get on with the build itself. Um, it exists out of two parts, a main body which holds the LED itself and a base that is easily um, mountable on the printer itself. If you want to use the LED, um, you really need a dimmer in between because um, the frames itself, uh, themselves, they are made of printed plastic and these LEDs can get uh, really hot. I already assembled this one. It is the one that I used to test um, if the filament actually, uh, the plastic holds up to the temperatures and what settings I can use on the dimmer. And it actually <laughs> has to be set uh, quite low because even though I have these heat sinks on the back, it, it still gets quite hot. This one um, as a test, but uh, it turned out uh, exactly how I wanted it. So I'm going to uh, assemble the second one now. Um, I'm using a uh, couple of different parts than the, uh, than the ones you just saw in the printing uh, video. The ones that you can see in the video are the ones that I just put away. Uh, these are black uh, PLA and they should work, uh, work just fine. But uh, I wanted some extra uh, safety, so I printed these in uh, PETG. So I just cleaned uh, the back side of the, uh, the LED and I'm going to use this um, heat transfer tape as I uh, just explained. You can also use uh, heat paste, it just depends on what you have uh, at hand, but if you want to uh, purchase something, um, I want to recommend this, not because it uh, transfers the heat uh, more efficient, but because it's more convenient. It uh, doesn't leave a mess and uh, it uh, secures the LED nice to the heat sinks. So I've got it um, all prepared to um, put the heat sinks on the back of the LED, but they are a bit of a different size. So I have two suggestions for this. Um, well, let's first show it. Um, if I put these toge together, you can see that the heat sinks are 
longer than the LED itself. So it makes it a bit more, uh, bit more difficult to, to uh, determine the position where you want it. So the easiest way to do that is um, by just putting the LED in position with the tape uh, backing removed and then uh, install these one at a time inside. Oh, and before you do so, uh, you may want to uh, rough up the backside of the heat sinks, as I'm doing right now, with some scotch bride. And after that, don't forget that you uh, need to clean it again. Um, I'm using uh, isopropanol, but um, normal rubbing alcohol would be just fine as well. So I was inserting these brass threaded bushings and um, I noticed that they were a little bit too loose in the holes. Instead, I used my heat gun to uh, heat it up locally around the bushing, the, specifically the plastic. And then I deformed it with a screwdriver just to pinch the plastic around the bushing. So now it, uh, it's fixed in place correctly. So the next step is to uh, extend the leads. This, uh, this cable mess wasn't really uh, part of the plan. The cable that I used, it's, it's way too thick of a cable and it's, it's just a waste and not necessary. So I was looking around in my bins of, of cables and I found this nest of cables. So that was a nice bit of luck. So as you can see, I'll, I'll show you the difference. This is uh, the conductor, uh, conductor of the cable that's um, included. It's rather thin. This is the one that I picked and as you can say, I can see it's a, a lot thicker. And this is the new one. It's more a comparable size. So that's the one I'm going with. With everything connected, I laid it all out uh, just for a quick test before I put it on the machine itself. Alright, so they both work and I did some testing uh, before I started assembly, the final assembly. And um, I really need to watch out that I don't have them set on a high uh, setting because the, the most bright uh, setting that you just saw um, they get way too hot. So uh, at around setting two or three, just a bit more than this, this, this is easy, um, it's already quite hot. So um, if you want to make these uh, yourself, it's really something uh, to consider and to watch out for. I used a, just going to pick it up, um, I got this uh, infrared thermometer and uh, I used this to check the temperature on the, these. 
So it works. Next step is to install it uh, on the printer itself. So we're almost uh, finished. Um, all that's left now is, uh, is to install the lights on the printer itself and um, clean up the cabling uh, underneath the printer. Uh, so I already put the uh, cables under the printer itself. Uh, just lifted it up. It's nothing uh, special. And for the installation itself, uh, I decided, designed it in such a way that you don't have to uh, disassemble the printer, you don't have to add any um, uh, nuts inside of the uh, extrusion profiles, but I got these little clips. And these are put in the extrusion uh, flat and just tilted up, and that's, that is what's keeping them in place. So I'll show it uh, on the other side in a few seconds. First, I want to install these on this side. And I'm keeping the base itself closed so I can be sure that the distance between them is correct. And if they are not perfectly aligned, I can easily just slide it along. Yeah, it's pretty close. Just wiggle it a bit farther. Just one tiny bit. Yeah, there it is. So I'll show it on the other side so you can see it uh, a little bit better. So there we go. So as I said, this is the clip itself. And um, this hole is uh, to fasten it to the base, but I'll show that in a few seconds. So, in the profile itself, just making sure that it's um, on roughly the same position as on the other side. All right, that's the first one. And the second one, just as easy. So now I have to check if alignment is correct. Oh, <laughs> here it is. As I said, really easy. It's upside down, but <laughs> the fit itself is uh, exactly how I wanted it. So before I uh, fasten it in place, I'm first going to uh, connect the LED itself because it's easier to locate the screw and tighten it with it still uh, separate from the base, uh, from the printer itself. So just throw that on the ground, uh, pick the other one and try again. Um, you know what, let's pick the, with the Allen key it should be a lot easier. Yeah, that's a lot better. So, just a bit tight, doesn't have to be really tight because there uh, aren't going to be any stresses on, uh, on this part. So, and now just put it on here. Get one bolt and you can put it in place from the front. Just making sure that it's going through the hole. Yeah, there it is. These screws are a bit too long, they can be a bit shorter, but it will work just fine. Um, just repeat this uh, three more times, one more for this side and two for the other side, and then we're finished. So, as you can see, they're working. 
and um, it's even at a low setting right now and it's blindingly uh, bright. So um, one more thing before I'm going to end this video. Uh, I'm going to include uh, all primary, uh, the most common uh, file types for every CAD system that you're using. Of course, STL files and a manual uh, uh, with instructions, how you can uh, install this yourself. And I need your help. Um, if you're going to build it, please let me know um, if you like it. Uh, also, if you like the, the instructions that I'm going to include and if everything works smoothly. And uh, if there's something that is missing, also let me, please let me know so I can, uh, can improve on that. Because I do plan on uh, making a couple more uh, additions to printers and uh, other work, uh, workshop uh, style stuff uh, that I want to share with you guys. So if you want to, uh, want to make it yourself, please let me know uh, if everything went well. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.